Hello Mystical Being, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley and thank you so much for allowing me to join you on your magical journey today. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of an updated altar tour. It has been a while since I posted an update or a, an altar tour in general. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update because some things have definitely changed on my altar space. And I just want to say this before we get into the video. If you are going to or if you want to show your altar on the internet or show your altar to people in your personal life, it is very important to make sure you have done the proper precautions to put pr uh, protection magic or protective energy over your altar. Your altar, in my opinion, is a sacred space. It is where you pull your energy from and where your spirit guides may pull energy from as well. It is where you work. It is where you perform your magic. So it's very important that you do the proper steps to ensure that your space is protected from any evil eye, psychic attack, negative energy that may be put onto it. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our tribe to become a mystical being today. Also, while you're down there pressing like and subscribe on the video, make sure you press the bell notification so you never miss when I upload one of my readings for you. Also, I have two quick announcements and then we'll get right into the tour. First announcement is that I have created a website. Now this website is pretty much the central point of everything to do with me. You can book a magical service on that website. You can view what magical services I provide. I provide tarot readings, Reiki. I am a certified Reiki one, two, and master. So I can do Reiki for you. I can do spell work for you. You can read a blog on there. You can find all my socials on there. Like it's just all a condensed website everything to do with that. So make sure you check that out down in the description box below. Second announcement is that I have completely redone my Patreon. My Patreon has brand new services, brand new tiers. There's three tiers, $3, $10, and five dollars the three dollar tier tier if you start off with it you get pretty much access to my patreon and the posts i put on there live streams and a weekly horoscope for your sign and then the ten dollar tier i noticed it's a little bit of so if you go on my website you can see all like the services i provide the ten dollar tier is pretty much a combination of all the services i do but in smaller form i don't know I just, please go check it out and support your girl. And yeah, let's get into this altar tour. So before we get into the whole entire tour, I just want to put up this time lapse of me cleaning the space and getting everything ready for the altar. I just wanted to show that it's good to change and move things around. A lot of things have changed and moved around in my own personal life. So I thought it was time that my altar, which is an extension of me, reflects that. So I just want to show you guys this process. And it took me a while because I want to make sure everything was perfect for me. But don't be afraid to switch things around and change or let go of things that no longer serve you. It'll work out in the end for the better, I promise. All right, everyone. So this right here is my altar. Now, if you watched my first video, it probably looks a little different. It's because I added this guy right here. But I did want to show you guys that this right here is not only my altar. So this whole side of the room essentially is my altar space. So I'm going to go on ahead and just start over there on that wall and kind of show you guys what everything means to me and stuff like that. All right. So this first wall here is pretty much my like manifestation, artwork, deeply spiritually meaning wall. Now I don't want to explain every single little detail about this wall because this wall does have things that are personal to me, but I will show you, look, this is my herbalism certification. So I can make tinctures to sayings, herbal medicine pretty much. I can make recommendations to you if you have comments or questions about that because I am certified in herbalism and dun, 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 my Reiki. So make sure you book a Reiki service with me Yes, I actually created this myself. I painted this um, and I'm actually pretty proud of it. I painted this when I was going through a really hard time. Um, this too here is a piece of art, but it's also like a vision manifestation board. And I just wanted to try like art collaging and I really liked the way it turned out. Uh, this wall right here, this is actually something I made myself out of magnolia leaves, uh, some feathers, and whatever this is, this used to grow a lot by the house I used to live in. So I use that as a protection 
charm. I put it in my old house, it was by my bedroom door, but now it is right next to my window just to ensure that my room stays protected here. And then I just have some little chimes and bells, of course, you know, because spirits love that ship. <laughs> and then I also have a dream catcher up here. I have a dream catcher pretty much in every corner of my room just to ensure that no negative ent entities can bother me while I'm sleeping. And then I have these really cute um, star lights above my altar. I'll post um, I'll post a video of what the, al the altar looks like at night, but girl, it looks so good. Okay, and then, you know, I'll finish up the wall here. I have this, uh, this star here, the pinnacle, uh, right here. I made it out of roses a long time ago. I honestly don't even remember the magical reason why I made this, but I, it's, it's still on there because I made it a long time ago. Then I also have this beautiful dream catcher that lights up, as you can tell by the battery pack. I got this for my aunt when she was in town. And of course, more jingly chimes. Okay, but now let's get into the actual altar part. Okay, so this section of my altar, I've kind of divided each section into three sections. So this first section here is kind of like my paying respects, I like to say. It's pretty much my uh, spirit guide, deity appreciation um, area. So like for example, if you, for those of you who watched my last video, my fortune kitty is still here. Uh, so I have my angel here, then I have some, this little container here holds a bunch of little magical things I use like a lighter. Uh, just some bracelets that broke that I use in my spell work, coins, crystals, and for animal parts I have, I have um, puppy teeth in here for my sister's puppy. And then I also have some toenails. <laughs> some of you guys are gonna find this so disgusting, but other you witches are gonna love this. Uh, I also have some dog toenail, that's my own dogs, um, just to use for spell work because how could I not? Then I also have some like lemon seeds in here. Just This is just my little curio container here. And then this, um, this right here I use, this crystal, I actually use to put these bracelets on. It acts as a jewelry holder. Here, I'll, I'll demonstrate. So I just, if I were to, every night or every day when I don't wear them, I put them on this, and then I put this ring on here. That way it can charge on the altar space because these are protective jewelries and has special meaning, everything, blah, 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 like that, you know, which stuff. <laughs> Anyways, so then this right here um, is my little altar dedicated to the seasons. I did write a blog post on my website about how uh, like synced up and connected events in my life are to the seasons and how to work with them. It's not an in-depth blog post, but it is just a brief summary about that. I recommend you go check it out. Link in the description box below to my website. Um, but this is pretty much my ode to summer, the season of summer. So I live in Florida, so finding shells is no problem Oop, because I live in Florida. So this right here is actually a horseshoe crab shell. I found it on the beach when I went by myself. It was already dead. It was washed up on the shore, empty, just like this with a bunch of sand and water in it. So I said, I'm a witch. I use animal parts from animals that are no longer alive. So I took it because it was calling my name. I also have some of these little sponges and everything like that here. But yeah, this is just my ode to summer. I really, really, really love my summer altar here. It's so beautiful, so nice, uh, really great energy here. But I'll do like winter, summer, spring, fall, all of that. I have a dedicated section to my altar to, those, to the seasons because of how synced up I am in my personal life here. I also have, this right here is my little spirit guide cup. Uh, anything my spirit guides bring my way, I put in here, literally. So let me tell you guys something crazy. So in Reiki, and before you can officially, because I realized taking doing like Reiki, I had been channeling Reiki my whole life. I just didn't know what it was. So in order to properly channel Reiki energy, you have to have an attunement. And an attunement is pretty much where uh, your Reiki teacher uh, does um, a special like Reiki ceremony on you and then you are given access to Reiki energy. So that the day I got my attunement, uh, it was life-changing, absolutely beautiful. And 
I was washing the dishes and I had, I was remembering like what took place during my Reiki session because I had a lot of visuals and realizations and something told me, because something told me look out the window, right? So I look out the window and this feather right here was just casually floating down onto the ground. And I was like, okay, I clearly have to pick that up. So yeah, this is just filled with little curios. This is just my little, my spirit guides bring it to me. I'll put it in here. And then I just have my golden pathos here because I also like to represent the elements on my altar. So we have earth, air, water in here. And then all the stones represent earth. Or no, air, wait, what did I just say? I don't even know, earth, air, okay, that's right. I said earth, air, water, and then the candles represent fire. But yeah, that is this section of my altar. I love her so much. Next up is this middle section here. So this section, this table right here, I actually added this, the two end tables were the original altar, but I actually added this to my altar um, because I wanted to space my working alt my altar before was a working altar, but I had to sit on the floor in front of it. I would sit like right here and then my altar would be there and then I would do my magic like that and my spiritual stuff. But I wanted to actually sit down and work at the altar space. So I just got this little table here. It was like nine bucks from Walmart, witching on a budget. I recommend you witch on a budget. That way you can grow your collection. That also reminds me to say that this, my whole altar, my whole room, everything like that has been a collection over the last seven to eight years. So please take your time with building your stuff. Anyways, um, so this right here is actually a pendulum board uh, that I have. So I plan on doing like tar tarot readings, pendulum work here. And then right here, because this is the space where I'm gonna be working, I built, because in Reiki, chakras are so special and I've always felt so connected to my chakras. I built uh, the chakras here, just when I'm doing my magic and readings and stuff like that, it's like subconsciously being projected into my mind to heal my chakras and everything like that. Then I just have a couple crystals here that matter a lot to me. I have selenite, clear quartz, mica, pyrite, and then rose quartz. And then over here I have my smoky quartz. This uh, word stone that says serenity, very special in my life right now. Uh, this is black tourmaline. Once again, going back to taking steps to protect your stuff. This is a step. This is not the only step, but it is the step. And my thought process of putting tourmaline and citru uh, citrine here as well, is that one, I will be psychically, energetically protected while I'm working here. That's the black tourmaline. And then two, I will be channeling a lot of creativity and abundance through the citrine and the mica and pyrite stones here. So that's what that is here, my incense holder, of course. And then I actually decided to have the angel face this way and then have the selenite face this way. That way it's kind of like a power unit. And I also uh, wanted to have my altar against the window because the window has a lot of meaning to me. It's like energy comes in and out, you can see. I just love to be able to see outside while I do my magic. So I just make sure that my altar is in front of a window. And then I also have my like book of shadows and my little journal right here next to it so I can just pick it up and grab it if I need to reference it. But yes, that is this middle section of my altar. All right, so this is the last little hunk of stuff on my altar space here. This is my crystal grid manifesting type area. Uh, it's pretty cut dry simple here. I have, um, I've built this grid in a way that has meaning to me. Uh, like crystal grids, you don't have to build them exactly how others tell you. So I kind of just channeled my altar space because what was difficult for me is that I had never really worked on the altar. So I was like, well, I don't want to like not use this mat, like this mat, this altar cloth is so pretty, blah, blah, blah. So I just, I just figured out a way for me to feel like I can work, you know, cause I wanted to put, okay, just a quick thing. The whole thought process of this setup is like, I'm in the middle and I can channel and use both sides of energy to flow into this. You know, witchcraft is all about intent and visualization. Well, this is my intent and visualization. So I pretty much just wanted to project my manifestations and wants 
but through the crystal grid without using every single crystal I own. <laughs> so that is what I came up with here. Here, I'll view it from this way. Pretty nice. I have my oak twig right there to represent the season of summer as well. Funny thing about that oak twig, I have literally had this specific oak twig for like three years. It was something my spirit guides brought to me and I've just, I've just had it ever since. But yeah, and then I also have my, right here, I have my rain stick right here, and then my sleigh bells are up in that corner too. And then right underneath here, I have my cauldron. This is for bigger spell works that I do. I usually can just use that one, uh, especially if I'm doing solo spell work and not group spell work. Uh, that one usually handles everything I need, but this one I'll pull out the big guns if I need to, but if I, I don't usually need to use this cauldron all the time, so if I don't, I'll use it to store certain things. I have crystals, matches, sage, driftwood, matches, peacock feather, like random things that I do use regularly in my craft. Um, I keep them in here. But yeah, that is this beautiful, lovely section of my altar. box make sure you press uh, press like and subscribe to join our tribe press the bell notification so you never miss when I upload one of my videos for you and I'm sending you guys so much love and light take care